Hello and welcome back to Tammy's Dolls and this is part two of Let's Get These Dolls Dressed Here for Halloween. Let them show their Halloween spirit. So anyhow, we're going to take off these little dresses off of them. And this is the Effin B doll. Now she was in a little bit rougher shape. She has one arm that's a little bit on the faded side. Not bad, but um, enough that I, I noticed it. But um, when she's dressed, you don't see any of it. The... the the clothing seems to hide the fading of, on her one limb. It's nothing horrible or anything, just slight. So, and she had some paint on her too, and I got that off and everything. She doesn't look too bad. So, I put onesies on them so that we keep their bodies as clean as we can because the oils of her hands touch and leave behind a residue. So, let's take this here. We have another sleeper we're going to put on going to get her looking pretty too for Halloween or maybe scary for Halloween. A lot of these are zero to three months. Because of their size they need that length to help them out. Let's get them in. A lot of these are just in the sleeper mind. Um, whatever I could find I picked up. I was picking some of this stuff up in the summertime, early summer. If I found something Halloween, I picked it up. Okay, so there's that. There's that. Okay. Zippers are, are way faster than these. I'm trying to make sure you got the right ones with the right ones too. There we go. Oh, that's a little titch big, but nothing bad. Um, very doable for her. Oh my goodness, there she is. And again, these are called flop dolls because of course their arms flop down and their legs. And they're meant for hugging and getting, um, you know, close to and everything. So we'll get her a nice little black bow for her hair. I have tons of these black bows. Will, would she look good in this tiny one? Let's try it on her. Let's see if that one does anything for her. You know what? I kind of like that on her shape of face and with what she's wearing. Okay, I can go with that. Or we can put this one on her. Get some hair there. Okay. Well, you know what? I think I like the bow better. I think. Hmm. I'm going to toss up 50-50. You know what? Get better off to the side. You know what? No. I like this. For some reason, it hit my fancy right when I put it on her. Let's see if you can see what I'm seeing. And again, you're not. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I think that looks cute on her. Oh, what a cute little outfit she has on. Right from the tips of her toes all the way up to Happy Halloween and her nice little black bow in her hair. And that's where it says, right, Happy Halloween. There we go. And she's got her black bow. Let's get the next one, the last one, Miss Pouty. That's the one we're putting the last outfit on. It's Miss Pout Poutster here. That's why I got her. She was a pouty baby. I was a pouty baby, my mother said. I pouted. <laughs> Big lip come, lip come out. So was my husband. He said his, my husband was adopted into the Simpson family. His real name is Lasky. And um, his a foster mother would say to him, put that lip in, in or a big bird's going to come and poop on it. So he was a pouty one too. Well, I think that's among children they pout. Okay, let's get this dress off, and then we'll dress them up for uh, Christmas this year too. I think we're going to keep going with the ones that I've chosen here for Halloween, and then we'll get them ready for Christmas as well. Now this doll here is going to wear, let's see if we can put this on her. It says my first Halloween. I wish they wouldn't put that on there. I wish they'd just put on things like Hello, um, Happy Halloween or something like that. 
And because once you have your first, it's done. But you want to know something? First time I'm doing, putting this on her, so we'll find first for something. Next year I'll find first for something else. Maybe this is her first time wearing it. So there we go. We, we can find a way. Let me see if you're seeing what I'm seeing. No, you're not. You're not seeing anything. Okay. Let's get that. Come out. All right. There we go. All of a sudden I thought, what are you seeing? All right. Well, that fits her quite nicely. Get her little finger showing here. There we go. Now we're going to put her in this nice... This one's really nice. Hold, I love the material. So soft. Soft, soft, soft. I've seen these out at Walmart. Uh, for sale this year um, to buy and they wanted I don't know about fourteen fifteen dollars maybe it was and I got this for two bucks at the used store so all like I say keep within your budget if you can you see these things pick them up you don't have to pay that big price all the time unless you really want it then that's okay then or if you can get it on sale after um, Halloween great all the better you know you can get it brand new right off the right out of the store, you know, and that's a way of doing it as well. I've seen some of the sales that people have gotten after after a holiday, and that's how you do it, too. There's ways of, to do this. Oh, this one's way over here. Okay. She's a fat doll. She's got a fat tummy. One more. Can we do her? Yeah. And you know with her, we can put the hat right on her. Yeah, I'm going to set her up and then move the camera. Okay. There she is. Oh, she's gorgeous in that. Okay, my battery's blinking. And I'm going to tell you, um, I think they all look just gorgeous. Let's get them all up there together. There we go, Miss Poster. And the uh, F&B doll. Oh, get your hat back on. Come on, sit. They don't want to do what they're supposed to do here. I'll put this candy behind, behind her there. There we go. And we got Miss Skelton, and we have a, another pumpkin. There we go. Oh my goodness, I think they are showing their Halloween spirit. All four of them. I hope you love what you see here. I think they're showing their Halloween spirit really nicely, and um, you enjoyed the changing. I'm sorry if you didn't get to see everything. I tried my best to keep the camera moving, but um, I think they look gorgeous anyhow. So have a great day, everybody. And tomorrow's Halloween, and I'm hoping to have another video to um, put up for you. So stay tuned. There's more to come. Bye-bye.